Hello everyone. Good evening. Hope you are doing good. So I am Dr. Anjit. I am going to have to have a discussion about an EQ for an EQ series, a question on pathology, right? So I have included five options intentionally because I presume that future it's going to change to five options because when the question becomes easier, the option is going to become tougher so that the chance will remain the same, fine? So yeah, we have a clinical history and we are going to read the clinical history, look at the picture. If it is necessary, then come to a diagnosis. A 70-year-old person, woman, with a throbbing headache and visual problems. Two findings we have. And also have mandibular pain while eating. The person has a history of recurrent bouts of fever accompanied by malaise and muscle aches. Physical examination shows there is a nodular enlargement in the temporal artery on palpation and a biopsy from that is given below. What is your most appropriate diagnosis? Every word in this points questions points to a diagnosis and if you make a diagnosis in this wrong It's going to be very difficult for you guys. You have to correlate stuff. It's straightforward Everything points to one disease and the final nail in the coffin is this When you say it's a temporal artery biopsy, you are going to write it's in genital arteritis Don't even look at the picture Because the only disease you know in temporal artery is genital arteritis or temporal arteritis, right? So just don't look even look at the picture, just go for the straightforward temporal arteritis. If you want to understand something in the picture, this is the clue here. If you look at this, you have a cell, I have circled a cell. That cell is a giant cell. Here also I'm having a giant cell. You all know what a giant cell means. Giant cell is any cell with a multiple nuclei. And nuclear color is blue in color. When you look at this cell, you can see multiple blue dots multiple tiny 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 blue dots here also i can see multiple tiny 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 blue dots in the corner all these are nuclei so when i have multiple nuclei that's a giant cell so in a giant cell giant cell will be seen in giant cell arteritis and temporal lobe temporal arteritis straightforward we are going to solve the questions very simple it will not even take like 40 50 seconds to solve the question simple you read them practice them write them so we'll understand what is giant cell arteritis for us to understand the Pathogens of giant cell arteritis, we just need to remember it's a chronic inflammatory process. For every chronic inflammatory process in our body, we have only one hallmark which is tissue destruction and healing by fibrosis. Right? That's a hallmark of every chronic inflammation in our body, tissue destruction and healing by fibrosis. Here also the same thing happens. The temporal artery is going to have a tissue destruction and it's going to heal by a fibrous response. So when it heals by a fibrous response, the temporal artery will the thick, uh, will the lumen reduce? Definitely, it's going to reduce. So when the temporal artery lumen reduces, I'm going to have less blood supply to the temporal region. We are going to have an ischemic pain, right? We are just going to have an ischemic pain. So when the temporal artery is involved, we are going to have an ischemic pain. That's given as a headache in the question. I have to pick it up here. This is the only headache which will have palpable arteries. No other headache will have palpable arteries. This is the only headache with palpable artery. That also is a very, very classical clue. You have to pick it up there. If not, it's going to spread. It will spread to mandibular, maxillary and your maxillary and your facial arteries. Right? Spread to your, not mandibular, maxillary and facial arteries. When it involves your maxillary facial arteries, the patient is going to have a jaw claudication. That's also classical finding. That's also given in your question. Pain on chewing, pain on swallowing, pain on speaking, jaw claudication. Very, very specific for temporal arteritis. If you miss that, it's going to go to ophthalmic artery. When it go to ophthalmic artery, it's going to cause permanent blindness. You should not come to this stage. You have to diagnose at this place where I'm going to use the palpable artery as a clue. If not, diagnose it here don't let it come here it's a chronic inflammation that's the same reason tissue destruction healing by fibrosis everything happens the same any chronic inflammation microscopy we're going to have the same structure the forerunner of chronic inflammation is going to be tuberculosis what do you see in tuberculosis you're going to see granuloma and giant cell same thing i'm going to see here any chronic inflammation has the same finding granuloma plus giant cell so that's what we saw in the microscopy we saw giant cell granuloma was not there in the picture so hyper picture focusing only the giant cell 
That's one more reason we call it giant cell arthritis. So we know the clinical finding just by understanding one f thing is a chronic inflammation. All the clinical findings. The question also had one line of myalgia and everything, non-specific, just to increase the lines. That's all. Every inflammation will have myalgia. It's completely non-specific. So these are the symptoms specific for the disease. Non-specific fever, myalgia, elevated ESR will be there. Microscopy is going to be this. I have made a diagnosis of temporal arthritis. How do you treat? Yes, I can hear you shout. Steroids. Steroids is a wonder drug, right? We start with steroids. We have few TNF inhibitors as well, which has played a significant role in the improvement of the patients, right? That's about temporal arthritis. See you soon in another AQ with another case discussion. And I'm promising you that this case-based discussion is going to be much more simpler than the previous need PG exams. All the very best. Do well. Become the best doctors you can, right? Thank you for your time.